You're listening to Feel Good Astrology with Louisa Tanner Munson. To request a personal reading with Louisa, go to www.feelgoodastrology.com. Hi, it's Louisa Tanner Munson, and this is part five in the Uranus um, series, where I look at the effects of having Uranus in a particular house when you were born or what happens when Uranus actually transits through that house. So we're in um, part five. Now, the fifth house um, is to do with our creativity and what we give birth to. So um, the kind of creative, romantic force that um, gives us hobbies and interests and children and pets and lovers and relationships and sex, all those kind of emotions and things get stirred from our solar plexus and our and our groins so all those things that we have um, a creative urge for so the fifth house if, if you think of um, the star sign that rules the fifth house in astrology it would be leo um, leo is um, a very creative dramatic sign to do with um, romance to do with children to do with innocence um, and to do with fun, um, Leo is is a very very fun sign. So you got to think of all those kind of aspects, and then add in the Uranian energy. So, if you remember before when we were talking about Uranus, we were saying that um, it's unpredictable, it's creative, it's spontaneous, it's erratic, it is a game changer. <clears throat> I mean, Uranus is about finding independence, um, about challenging the status quo. It can be seen as quite irresponsible energy and it is challenging and rebellious um, if it's contained. So Uranus in the fifth house is a very freeing and spectacular expression in somebody's chart. So anyone born with a fifth house Uranus is very um, spontaneous with the way they create beauty in the world, the way they create and stimulate thought and opinion and hobbies. So they might have quite unusual hobbies because Uranus is very much to do with um, unusual things and um, modernity. So it often represents new technology or technology in general. It represents things that haven't quite been conceived. So somebody who has Uranus, which is a planet to do with creativity and spontaneity and conceiving things that haven't yet been perceived in the house of creation and conception is quite something. So we're talking about inventors, um, people who create things that change change the the way things run on the planet, really. I mean, this is a very, very creative sign. It's possibly one of the best signs for Uranus to be in um, from a creative perspective. So very avant-garde artists could have a very, very strong Uranus energy here. Um, now, um, from a romantic perspective, it can... Um, Uranus is quite androgynous. It doesn't really um, appeal to either gender, particularly. It... it, it defines itself so having um a kind of genderless planet in the area to do with um children um conception romance sexuality can also indicate that there's a certain amount of um diversity in the way the native of a fifth house uranus might express their sexuality it can lead to people being um um, sometimes just non-sexual um, in as much as or asexual you know not not choosing to use that energy because you know uranian energy is very stop start but it could also be somebody who finds it difficult to settle on one partner um, and for somebody who really prefers a sort of polyamorous approach you know to loving several people you know why make a choice you know, that's just what we've been encouraged to do as um, human beings is that there's been this kind of preset mode of, you know, you look for the one. But with somebody with a Uranus in the fifth house, they are likely to have multiple partners um, and respect the need for choice and individuality and originality. Um, 
it also represents that somebody um, with a very strong Uranus fifth house will have phases in their life where um, they have a very different sexual expression so for instance they might be quite inventive and want to try things out in different ways and experiment until something really feels right um I remember when I first started learning about astrology uh, 30 years ago, uh, maybe five or six years in, um, I remember reading an article about um, homosexuality, um, gay relationships and and implicating Uranus as, you know, uh, a big defining character in, in that kind of thing. And I can see how that would have happened 20 or 30 years ago. But during that time... Um, society has changed quite considerably um and there isn't the same kind of um well I don't uh, not from my perspective I don't see the same kind of fear and anxiety that people used to have talking about um people being in same-sex relationships you know from my perspective it's something com completely natural and normal um but I guess for uh, previous generations it could have been quite shocking which I think was one of the reasons why Uranus was um, associated with that but in um, more recent times the one of the things that is really coming up at the moment in um, consciousness I'm noticing is that people don't want to define the way they are sexually or their preferences sexually. They also don't want to define their gender necessarily. There are a lot of people now who um, are preferring to go genderless, to be referred to as genderless, like not he or a she. Um, uh, and and I think this is all to do with the Uranus discussion, but it's not about um, a definition. It's about having freedom and not needing to define ourselves. And so the Uranus energy really comes into its own here. And so I would imagine somebody with a very strong Uranus fifth house um, leaning, um, especially if supported by quite avant-garde and creative aspects within their chart, can have a lot of fun redefining who they want to be um, or, or just choosing who they want to be every single day and not needing to say this is who I am. I think the preoccupation with deciding who you are is is long gone actually um, and about time too. <laughs> um, you know when we define ourselves um, it's just another label we put on ourselves and it, you know it starts a whole cycle of judgments and guilt and all sorts of failed expectations so it's, it's, it's a really cool thing and Uranus energy especially in the fifth house really kind of defines this um now um for for people with a Uranus in the fifth house um who who want to start a family um I don't think Uranus in the fifth house stops you starting a family I've never seen that indicated at all um it might mean that um giving birth is more of a surprising occurrence in your life. So you've got more of a, a, a surprise when it comes to children and innocence in your life. So it might be that you have children either really, really early on or quite late in life or possibly in, a, in surprising circumstances. So it kind of um, makes things a little bit more interesting and a lot newer when you've got that fifth house Uranus because whatever resides in the fifth house is, is unusual and... Um, subject to change and variability um, it also might re represent people who um, express themselves through their hobbies in very unusual ways so um, people that like extreme sports or extreme pets you know people that um, rather than having cats and dogs they want reptiles or you know it just it just shows something a little bit different it's food for thought and it's to do with self-expression so it's um, a very interesting place and people with fifth house um, Uranus um, really, really need to feel the autonomy to make their own decisions. Um, that's that's one of the most um, important key points, I think. Um, now, if fifth house, if your if Uranus is about to go through your fifth house, um, this is marking a time for you when um, your views on sexuality, your views on um, creativity, in particular, now, depending on the stage in life that you're at. Um, it could affect um, your ideas on conception and, and relationships and, and whatnot. In my own instance, um, Uranus went into the fifth house um, a 
couple of years after I'd separated from a long-term partner. So you've got to think about um, where Uranus was immediately before going into the fifth house and what was going on. So um, if you think Uranus going through the fourth house is about um, disruption and change and variability at home and with the things that we associate with our security, for me, um, I was in a long-term relationship that wasn't quite working um, and so it meant quite a few moves for me as I separated from a long-term partner and it showed you know, Uranus in the fourth house really showed up with that kind of variability. Everything's changing, everything's breaking down. That security um, that you associated in life is long gone. So you're moving from a place of instability into a place of creativity. And it's actually a really great place to have Uranus going into because it's completely broken down your security and then moving into that place of creativity so you can reinvent yourself and and really um, think things through again. Now, when this was happening, I was in my mid-30s and it did actually coincide with um, a kind of sexual experimentation, me reviewing how I might want to express myself sexually. It it revealed itself in different partners because I got into internet dating um, and it showed a completely new approach to self-expression. And obviously one of those is um, sexuality. Um because I'd moved, I moved to a younger place. I moved from um, a, pr- uh, a provincial kind of uh, large town, ended up moving to the capital um, city of the UK. So I moved to London for a while. And so it, it shows up in new and exciting ways. And my hobbies um, were quite unusual. Um, so anything that to do with your self-expression that's new, fun, stop, start, it all seems to come into play towards the end of that um that transit of um, of uh, Uranus in my fifth house, it coincided um, in a time when I took off on a long tour and then met my future husband. So um, it, it showed a sudden, surprising new relationship right at the end of the transit. Now, that could happen any time because, you know, it is a, a place of romance and sexuality and relationships and giving birth. And so right at the last moment that um, Uranus was in my fifth house, um, we also conceived quite suddenly as well. So, you know, there are all the kinds of themes that might show up um, should you have that um, that planet Uranus going through your fifth house. So hopefully that was useful for you. And if it is about to happen to you, I would just really look um, into your life and think, what has held me back with my self-expression what have I always wanted to try but never really dared to? And then just sit back and, and prepare for um, a ride. Um, I will just mention one other thing. Like if, um, if for instance, you, um, as, as Uranus is going through a fifth house, you might also want to consider your creations that are already here. So for instance, people that have um, children already established a, a family might experience um, ups and downs with their children. It might be that their children are going through their own reinvention of themselves, their own um, creativity. It could be that you have a rebellious teen in your household or that your child has um, very strong ups and downs. So again, it's, it's the level of uncertainty and insecurity and change and creativity. It shows you needing to... Um, take into consideration new steps and new solutions to your problems. So it's anything to do with your creativity and what you've given birth to or what you are about to give birth to. So, you know, that's another thing to bear in mind. Um, I guess a lot of it depends what stage you are in, uh, in in your life and think about where it was first. So whatever security got destroyed, think about how Uranus is going to help you rebuild that through creativity. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Give me a shout if you want to discuss any of those themes. Take care. You've been listening to Feel Good Astrology with Louisa Tanner Munson, and this recording has been made possible by all you lovely supporters at Patreon. To request a personal reading with Louisa, go to www.feelgoodastrology.com.